55-year-old James Church says even his doctors at ORMC are shaking their heads, amazed he survived an electrifying brush with Mother Nature and following four surgeries, amazed he's well enough to be home. The lightning struck. Boom, blew out my ears. His hearing, he says it sounds like he's underwater, is the least of James Church's problems. He lost two fingers, portions of his stomach and colon, and was extensively burned when lightning hit his now tattered fishing pole. And then shoved the fishing pole to my stomach and put a hole right there, and the electrical went right through my stomach and somehow came out through my fingers. Church was briefly knocked out, but came to, alone out here in the wee hours of a Saturday, and initially paralyzed. I, I just could not move anything. So I yelled it out as loud as I can two more times. I'm not going to die this way. I'm not going to die this way. Church says he somehow found the strength to roll over and reached for his tackle box. That's when he realized he was missing fingers. So he used his thumbs to open it, grab a phone, and call 911. Well, it's rubber boots. It's um, heavy duty. Church and his rescuers believe the fisherman wasn't killed because he was wearing heavy duty waders that absorbed some of the charge. And this faithful man thinks he's come as far as he has in such a short time because of a higher power. Pretty amazing. There's a lot of people watching over me. And then everybody sends so much prayers to me at the hospital. You know the old saying, lightning never strikes twice. Church says his doctors told him once struck, there's a better chance of being struck a second time. Won't stop him from coming back. In Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News. Wow, that's amazing that he survived. Glad to hear.